This is Mrs. Murphy, your instructor here at Weber State University, and I'm going to introduce you to a little bit of HTML. HTML is an acronym for Hypertext Markup Language. It's a tag-based language used to create web pages, and today we're going to take you through your very first web page. You'll need a browser, any browser will do. You'll also need a plain text editor. Um, that means nothing like a word processing software like WordPad or Microsoft Word, any of those things where you can format text, we don't want that. We just want plain text. If you're using a PC, uh, a PC has Notepad installed right on it. My favorite is Notepad++. Uh, I'm going to be using brackets in this class because it's available both for PC and for a Mac. And Mac users also have one called Text Wrangle available. All of those are free downloads and they're available in Canvas. The links are available in Canvas on a file called Intro to HTML. Now, once you d install your uh, text editor, you'll want to type in or create a new file and type in the HTML core tags. This, these are them right here. They're also available in Canvas. Um, I'm going to go through what these are, so as you're typing them in, you can remember, oh yeah, this is what she said. All right, so you'll want to type in your doc type tag. This just specifies that the language is HTML, specifically HTML5. Um, this is an opening HTML tag, and down below we have a closing HTML tag. And it, a tag is anything within these brackets, and, and a closing tag looks exactly like the opening tag, only it has a forward slash. Some tags have... A closing tags and some do not if you'll notice the doc type tag doesn't have a closing tag the HTML tag just opens and closes your document now there's two parts of your HTML document the head and the body the head is everything you don't see on the web page and the body is everything you do see on the web page so in the head we'll have things like JavaScripts and commands and styles and stuff that you don't really see it's not really part of the content of the web page but still very important uh, the title is in the head, and the title will appear in the title bar at the in the top tab of the page. Then you have something to uh, specify the encoding of the web page. In this case, we want UTF-8. Then we'll talk a little bit about the body in the next tutorial. So go ahead and get that installed and get this typed in, and I will meet you in the next video.